Welcome back to the Pretentious Film Majors. We're here at the Rare View Rooftop Bar for an interview with the team from Six Acts, Jonathan, Rona, and Siva. Thank you all for joining me. I wanted to start by asking when the idea for the film uh, first came to light, you know, where the project first sparked from. Uh, me and Rona, the screenwriter, we worked on a TV show together, which Rona wrote and I directed. And this was the first time we worked together. And uh, immediately after, we decided to make a future film. And we have... We had a really not so many f meetings where we pitched each, each other s some ideas, and this idea uh, came up uh, quite at the beginning, and it was really like hooked, and we just started working on it, which was a long journey of five years of research, writing, shooting. So, if you could tell me a little bit about the story of Six Sacks and what the film's about, it's the story of a, a teenage girl who switched schools. And she uh, she wants to be accepted, popular, to have new friends, and she's um, very determined to do that at all costs. Um, she's kind of like using her sexuality to get into places, but it becomes this um, um, kind of like she's being exploited but she can't really go back anymore so she has to move on and then you have six acts of of um her meeting different people leading to to the end which i obviously won't tell <laughs> it has such a unique structure i was wondering at what point that that structure came um came up and how how big a part of the process like revolving around the that um Actually, at first, when we just pitched ideas to each other and, cl and, and got hooked up on this one specific uh, idea, I just um, I took some stuff out of the press and kind of like kind of sketched this six act or maybe it was seven or five. I don't even remember, but probably it was six. And just, you know, like writing down like really fast and he read this and it was like five or six years ago and this is it there was no negotiations negotiations anymore about the structure because this is what he wanted and i was just it wasn't even a synopsis to me it was just like a way of me processing the story but he was like really into okay let's do it that let's keep it this way just the sexual acts and just six of them and just the way it was written in this silly paper you wrote so i don't know that's the way it Never was give directors the silly paper. It's yeah <laughs> just <laughs> just give them what you think is ready don't let them choose anything <laughs> was was your angle more to capture this character or more of a particular tone or a moral or a message with the story of the film i think our main i don't know if to say goal but like our main intention was to try and tell the story um, the way it really is and not the way the press sometimes would, would capture it later as like a story of like good and evil and monsters and whatever while these things happen in every school in every year and m most times when you're a teenager you, no you don't even notice that something is uh, seriously wrong you kind of accept it as like the way things are and it shouldn't be this way so this kind of film doesn't all come together if you don't have the performance at the center of it. When did you actually get a chance to first uh, read the script and hear about the project? Actually, Jonathan was the DOP of a TV series I was acting at. And then we did like a, a trailer before to, to get the money, but it's, it was not my role yet. <laughs> they had auditions for like uh, three, hundred girls and then and then I got the part <laughs> uh, the film actually has a lot of you know uneasy scenes to watch and uh, things that I'm sure weren't particularly fun to film either is there anything that it, you do to prepare for those uncomfortable scenes knowing they're they're so vital to the film but that they probably are still an uncomfortable experience I think the I don't know if you can call it sex scene, but all those physical scenes are not as much as hurt as like the, the mental scenes, you know? So it's just physic and you don't really do it, it's acting. Yeah. 
And we've been actually uh, doing rehearsal for a whole month before, every day, every day. And then, and then when when we came, Jonathan just told us, okay, forget everything we've done, but but we knew to the point everything we're gonna do. So, and also we had a really good hand to be in, and it was really good taken care of. So. Um, I was wondering if there are any films or for you any actresses that might have inspired the story of Six Acts and particularly uh, your main character. Um, films that we've been inspired by, um, I, I'll, I'll give mine and then he'll give his because it's different. Um, I think, I can't say I was inspired by it, but when I saw it, it, my, my script was already written, uh, but when I started, I remember calling Jonathan and telling it's uh, the hard locker. Um, it, it's structured just the same. It has six acts, and each act is surrounding one. If you just take um, death and replace it with sex, you got our movie. It's just it's it's an ad identical movie with a different theme. So uh, it, I, I watched it after writing it, but I was like really amazed by the, the similarities. And I remember calling him and telling him, they're, they've, they've done our movie just with, with war. <laughs> <laughs> but he has different films that inspired him. Yeah, n less related to the story, more to the cinematic uh, language. Uh, I really liked uh, Romanian, four months, three weeks and two days. And uh, Rosetta by Dardenne Brothers and... Uh, an, an old movie which I liked since high school, not really related, but this realistic uh, feeling of uh, naked, of uh, Ken Loach. And I also like uh, American drama thrillers, like uh, Hit by Michael Mann, and, and w I really like everything which is totally realistic. So we're here in New York for the Tribeca Film Festival. W what's next for Six Acts? Uh, where else are you taking the film? Where do you hope to take it? Um, we really hope to get uh, an American distribution. I know it's not going to be as big as Titanic, but, uh, but we're, we're hoping to get a large, uh, the larger audience we can for the film. Uh, we still have the Israeli to, uh, distribution ahead of us, uh, I hope in, Oct in October, which is very, very exciting for us. Uh, we have a social agenda with this film. It's very close to our hearts. A girl like me. Like a girl like me 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 And a few more I think so that that's fun